YCS Austin is tomorrow. Oh my god! I know you guys must be really worried about this because, like, you know, there's just so many decks that are gonna be there. How can you possibly side for everything? How can you do your best? It's crazy. But luckily, because you subscribed to my channel, I've got some great information for you guys. I've talked to all of my pro contacts. I know a lot of great people. All the people that. All the people at ARG and just all the rest and all the big names, we, we talk all the time. I mean, you know, I can call them up on the phone right now if I wanted, but um, I won't do that. Uh, so, like, I've been talking to them and we've really been discussing what we think are going to be the, the biggest contenders uh, at this event. We, I, I think I've sort of got it compiled into a sort of a top five list. So here are the five things that you can expect to see at YCS Austin this weekend. Plus, I've got side deck techs that you can side against these five decks. All right, here goes. Battery Man OTK. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, uh, well, I mean, I can beat that. I can side on uh, Soul Drain. Well, sorry guys, Soul Drain doesn't work against Battery Man OTK. But, you know, I do have some great side deck cards for you. The first card is Leeching the Light. Because you're going to see this deck everywhere. But since they run light monsters, you can just use Leeching the Light because there's going to be a lot of light decks there, like Battery Man, and then just use that. And then you can like get 3,000 attack for all your monsters and beat all the Battery Man decks that are clearly going to be at this event. The second card is Light Imprisoning Mirror because for those of you who don't know, Battery Man Double A's effect does activate, believe it or not. The next deck that I think you're going to see a lot of at this event is Neo Spatians. Now this deck is, it's a really new deck, it just came out and it's really broken. Um, they basically use a lot of contact fusion, so I found a perfect side deck card for this deck. Non-fusion area. If you've got this in your side deck, then when you face the Neo Spatians, you can just use non-fusion area, and neither player can fusion summon monsters, so you'll be completely safe from all their dangerous contact fusions they can do at any time. So why not run this card, right? You know, why not? But if you don't have non-fusion areas, anti-fusion device, Chthonian Polymer, and defusion, because defusing them, it's good stuff. I mean, it's not like they can contact again once per turn, duh. The next deck that I think you'll see a whole lot of at this event is Iron Chains. Now, I know that you guys probably think that you're really prepared, but, you know, with Iron Chains, they mill cards off the top of your deck, so your Macrocosmos isn't really going to help you if you have to mill your spells, traps, and monsters straight out of play. But luckily, I've got a solution. Dimension Fortress Weapon, because this handy-dandy card means that no cards can get sent from the deck to the graveyard, but their Iron Chain Dragons and their Paralyzing Chains won't be able to send any of your cards from the deck to the grave. But if you don't have any copies of that, you can always decide Wolf, White Swarm, Beast, and that way when they make you mill, maybe you'll mill Wolf, and poof, free monster. You plussed off of their effect. The next deck is Reptilians. Now, these guys are really scary because they get crazy effects whenever they destroy your monsters if they can get your monsters to have zero attack. And that's really easy because they have a lot of effects to do that. So, I've got a solution for that too. And it's Pyramid Energy. This spell gives all your monsters an attack boost. So once your monster is at zero attack, you can just use Pyramid Energy and make your monster have 200 attack, and then poof, you know? So if you use that, then you can't have your monster stolen by that one reptilian that steals things, and you can't have your monster taken by reptilian Vosky, because you wouldn't want their boss monster to, you know, drop on you. It's pretty bad. It's kind of like Master Hyperion, except like 10 times better. And the last deck is Volcanics. This is a really scary fire deck. I don't know about Fire Fist, but I think Volcanics have them beaten. Because Volcanics burn you, and they can attack you all at the same time. It's really scary, guys. So, I have a few really great side deck cards. I've got Hainwada and Life Force Harmonizer. Because you don't want to take 500 points of damage per turn from Blaze Accelerator, those 500 points can quickly decide how the duel goes. So you don't want that to happen to you, you just don't. So yeah, if you side those two cards, you'll be fine against this deck, and it's going to show up a lot, because Fire has gotten really popular lately. So yeah, guys, that is the five decks that are going to appear the most at YCS Austin.
Now, I know you guys might think that it might be something Mermails or Macro Rabbit, Fire Fist, but I don't really think you'll see any of that because I discussed this with all the pros and they know better than all of you do, of course. You know, they're smarter, better, and just more important people. So, um, yeah, that's what they told me and I'm passing on this really great information to you. Be sure to tell a friend so they can see this video too and, you know, know what to side. There's literally, like, only a day left to prepare, so... Edit your deck list, edit your side, and you'll be prepared for this. It'll be great. We'll all win. And when you win, you can give credit to me because I helped you. Woo! So yeah, that's all I've got to say. Just remember to subscribe to this video, thumbs up if you liked it, and share with your friends. And leave a comment telling me other great side deck cards for these top five decks that you will see at this event. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. <laughs> uh, that's not probably what you'll see at YSS Austin this weekend. But, uh, you know, you never know. But the point of this video is, um, don't, you know, don't get freaked out over what you're gonna see at Austin this weekend. Just decide for what you feel like, you know, you need to decide for and do your best and have fun and good luck and all that nice stuff. Um, I won't be at this event, I really wanted to be, but I have some school related things, so hope you guys all have fun and, um, I'm sending somebody to get videos for me, so hopefully they'll do that and hopefully I'll have stuff to upload. Remember to subscribe like I said before and that'll be all. But really do watch out for that Batman OTK, it's kind of vicious. Yeah.